And welcome to our reading of Homer. We're reading Odyssey Book 6. And I'm just going to read through and translate. Nothing particularly scholarly in this. It's just a reading through for those who want a, a little bit of help with reading their Homer. So we're up to line 110. Al hoti de ar emeli palen oikon dinestai. Xiusas hemionus tukaxa. Te haimata kala, en thaoti al en noe sen thea glaucopus athene, hos odysseus egoito. Idoi te uopida kuren, he hoi faecon andron polin hegesato. But when, indeed, then, try and get all the particles in. Uh, she, this is Nausi car, so they've done their washing and they're about to head off. They've been playing games. Uh, so she was about Neestai. Now Mello generally takes a future infinitive and there probably may have been one here with the sigma disappearing. Uh, so Palin back and Oikondi home. So when, when then indeed she was about to Go back to the house. Zuxasa uh, from Zugnumi. So uh, having yoked the um, the Hami Onus, the mules. Te and Ptuxasa from Tuso to fold, having folded the fine hamata clothing. Uh, Ent out at that point then. Um, the grey-eyed goddess Athena in not a set Allah she had other things in mind literally she thought other things so she had other things in mind hosts um, possibly how um, or perhaps that uh, Odysseus Egroito might be woken up this is from Egero it's an optative um, apocopated form here so how Odysseus might wake up and Idoi uh, from Adon he might see the beautiful eyed maiden hey who now slightly uh, tricky here I suppose um, hey get my to lead perhaps here to act as guide and then the hoy is for auto for him to act as guide for him, and we're going to understand an accusative of motion towards here to the city of the Phaeacian men. Spiron epate eripsi met amphipolon basileia. Now she's not technically a queen; she's a royal personage. So you might say the uh, then the the royal maiden uh, eripsi from Ripto. She hurled the spiron at the, the ball. Uh, meta plus accusative here in the sense of in the direction of a an amphipolon, a servant. A servant girl. And we get a nice men and de. Um, on the one hand, she missed the servant girl, but uh, um, Mbale, it fell. Perhaps we have to understand the... Uh, the spira as the subject of the verbs here. So the ball missed the servant girl, but it fell into uh, a deep eddy, a deep swirl, whirlpool, a deep eddy. Hi, this is the women, and they are usan, from that verb of crying out, and we have to join that with the epi. So this is a pre verb, it goes with this, it's sort of tamesis. Uh, so they cried out. Ma Macron is adverbial here, loudly. So they cried aloud at it. Hode uh, egreto dios Odysseus and glorious Odysseus egreto woke up. He got up from Egero again, and he was hedzomenos uh, sitting. Hormene kata frena kai kata thumon. 
Hormino is a funny verb. Uh, it means obviously to, to set out from somewhere or to rush and so on. It can also mean to turn things over in one's mind quickly. So sitting there, he gave thought or he considered in his frame, in his uh, mind and in his heart, in his thumos. And this is what he says. Oh, toy ego. Uh, oh, moy ego. Oh, uh, alas for me. Um, and now, tion for tinone. Uh, it's a question uh, into the land of what sort of of, of what men uh, am I, have I come? So I am come into the land of what sort of men, of what men? Uh, now we get some questions here. So era, it's um, surely they are, in fact, hubristi, they are insolent or violent, and agrioi, uh, wild, and not just. So we get the uh, or, so we get a, a. So either they are insolent and wild and not just, or they are philoxenoi, they are kindly to strangers. And uh, there is a, well, God-fearing, I think here, theudas, theudes, a God-fearing mind, spin for them. Spin for spizzy, data plural here. Hos teme cura on amphielethelos aute. Now you notice funny things with the accents here. The me is enclitic, so it puts its accent back on tet, which itself is enclitic, which puts the accent back on hos. Um, and so it's um, well, it, it's hard to know exactly what the hos is, is here. Um, perhaps since. Um, uh, the the aute is a cry, since a female cry of girls, of nymphaeon, of female of girls who are nymphs, amphi luther. Now the a luther is from uh, is instead of aelthon, it's that aeolic form from uh, the verb erkamai. So it's come around me. Of maidens who, or of nymphs who, ecusi hold, well, hence live in, uh, the steep carena, the steep cliffs of the mountains, uh, and the pergas potamon, kai pisia poi e enta, and the streams of rivers and the flowery meadows and just enjoy the lovely um, uh, sound patterns here with the the pies the um, the alliteration the pergas potamon piscia poienta a nupu anthropon amy skedon our day we'll get a question or indeed perchance i am near men, uh, aerodonto, literally speaking, so but it's often used of those who uh, have mortal speech. Uh, so, that, that, so or, or am I perchance near men who of mortal speech? I'll age, but come, egon for ego, uh, I myself, uh, peres am I, I will make a trial of it, so I'll, I will see what's happening, and I will see. Um, so I myself will make a trial, and I, it's a subjunctive here, and I might see. Hos apone thamnon epiduceta dios Odysseus, and thus speaking, glorious Odysseus, Lipidesita, um he came out from under, the thickets uh, and classe uh, is the verb here from Clasdo. He broke with his thick hand, with his strong hand, a patorthon. This is a branch, fulone along with its leaves, from the thick 
Hule, well, normally for forest or something, um, from the thick wood or forest. Uh, Hose Royce Saito Peri Croi Media Photos. Now the verb here is from, it's, the root is ru, there are two, it's really et ruo when you look it up in the dictionary. There are two of these verbs. One was originally wet ruo with a digamma uh, to draw back, and the other one is was originally set ruo, and that's the one we've got here. So when you're looking this up, you look it up under et ruo, in fact, uh, so that he might protect. It's got a range of meanings. One of which probably here is to protect. Uh, Perry Crowey on his body, literally around his skin, he might protect the media, the genitals, photos of a man. Again, we get two of these words that look very similar except for the accent. There's force with a circumflex, meaning light, and there's fos, which is this one, which means a man. So, uh, so, so that he might protect on his body uh, his manly genitals, we might say, the genitals of a man. Uh, Bain dimen, this we've had this before, this is the imen infinitive from Amy Ibo, so he went to go. Now, hose here is the like use of it. It's got the accent because of the tet, so but it is like, so like a lion, or as he trophos, reared in the mountains, Alkipepoithos. Now, normally, if you look it up and it's al -K, it's a first declension um, noun. Um, it's, it, it means valor, so it's here it's trusting in valor. But you'll notice we get a third declension ending, dative ending. It's what's called a metaplastic form. So it changes from one declension to another so it's um it is from al but it's changing to a dative here so trusting in his valor the the word occurs um or this form of the dative occurs uh, a few times in the iliad but i think this is the only time you see it in the odyssey uh, so this is a line who um uh, haste from he amy Sorry, from Amy Ibo, um, who's, who who um, goes forth, who ominous, uh, rained upon, and aminos, and blown by the wind. So two participles there, and the his the two eyes for him. So his two eyes. This is the jewel. The, his two eyes in him diatai are burning. So his two eyes are burning within. Ate habusi metokotai e oi esin. But he goes after oxen and sheep. A um, meta and... Now this is actually a comparative here, but it's uh, it just means very wild. You can often use the comparative in a strengthening sense. And he goes after very wild... Um, or untamed, very wild, elephus deer. Uh, Kelatai de hergaster melon peresson takai es pukinon domon elthane. And his stomach, Kelatai bids, het for out on him, uh, elthane to come even into the Pukinon Domon, well, the thick house or the secure, close, shut, so perhaps into the secure house. Uh, we get a future participle here for purpose, with the intention of um, attacking, literally being about to make an attempt on, so with the attention, intention of attacking the Melo and the sheep. And then, compared with all that, thus, Odysseus, uh, Emile, was about mixestai for mignumi, uh, which can have a range of meanings. Here it's just to have social intercourse with, so to, to go among the 
um, beautiful tressed maidens. Now the point of the metaphor here is that it's the it's hunger that uh, the stomach that drives on this mount th this mountain lion, and in the same way it's hunger that pushes Odysseus forth. So Gumnos pair Eon, Eon for own. So although being Gumnos naked, Creo is a noun here for need uh, came upon him. Hikone. Uh, tresen dalodis ale ep a ionas pu kusas. Uh, now we get this this idiomatic alodis ale. So in one place and then another, and here um, it's referring to the girls. So they um, well in later Greek trio is to be frightened of. Here it's probably in the sense of um, uh, they fled in fear, Alodis Ale, so some in one direction, some in another. Uh, on the the um, the Aeonos, these are the shores, and the pro echo is to project outwards, so something like along the projecting shores. And I'm sure the commentaries have something to say on that expression. But um, the daughter of Alkinois, Oye alone, Mene remained, imperfect for Meno. Uh, for Athena, um, there's the verb here, Theke cast Tharsos a boldness or courage into the heart tay for her and she took away the echoes with the halo top from this is the errors from Hyrio she took fear from her limbs we own so she took out fear from the, from her limbs stay dantas uh, scomine this is from echo it's the passive here or, or, or I should say middle holding herself hence having checked herself from flight so perhaps halting she stood anta opposite him Hode mer merixen Odysseus and Odysseus this is a verb used for to be in two minds about something so he, he was in two minds he was tossing up in his mind from one thing to the other he was divided in his mind either uh, having taken um, the beautiful eyed girl gunon for gonon by the knees this is from gonu the knee lisoito uh, he might supplicate her he might pray to her or supplicate her or a so we get a and a either do that or autos in the same place so just as he was apostada you see the apo and the star root from his stamy standing far off this is adverbial uh, lisoito he might supplicate her uh, epeesin with uh, honeyed words we get a um, it's epesin but they double he's doubled the epsilon for the sake of meter here so with honeyed words, which often happens in the funny spellings, uh, might supplicate her if she might dake, say, point out to him the poly in the city, and she might doye, optative from Didomi, might give to him hymata clothes. Hos arahoi fronion to do es to kerion enai, and thus then for him thinking so as he was thinking upon these things dot asato is uh, again it's an epic form it's like edoxe in later greek it seemed good uh, well it, it it seemed to be better for him as he was thinking about it to supplicate uh, apostata standing afar off her with honeyed words so we just get a repetition of the line above with just the beginning changed 
So he's thinking about whether he's going to grab hold of her knees, which is the form of supplication, or whether he's going to just speak to her with honeyed words standing afar off. Um, and then the reason being, lest hoi guna labonti kol osatai frena kure, lest the maiden might become angry in her mind, might become angry with him, hoi for auto, uh, taking, having taken hold of his uh, her knees. Autica melikion kai kedalion fato muthon. At that time, he spoke um, a word, which was melikion, which was honeyed, and kedalion, probably something like cunning, clever. So then he addressed a word to her, a honeyed word and clever. And we'll continue this to see what he says in the next recording.